Hey Ryan, just just one I had, man. Um, what do you think with the last camp you were with? That stable is the best thing you're gonna carry forward as a fighter. Like, was it the head movement, or well, that's gonna pay dividends for the rest of your career? No, I think I would think they really instilled in me just what it takes, you know, what it takes to be uh, at, at the top. Because I never seen that growing up from Victor. I never seen what it what it is like to be a superstar and you know how to handle situations. And obviously, Cano's ring IQ is very, very good. And I took a lot of stuff from that. And it's something that you just internalize and see, and you know how to do. You know what I mean? Just like me, where you just do it. You know, you just be great just by, you know. You have to have a good feel for the game. And I think I do, especially now. So uh, I'll be probably taking in just those memories of watching somebody that's a superstar and, able, and knowing how to handle it and uh, just knowing how he's so in control in the ring at all times. And that's kind of what I pride myself is like, I'm, I'm in control of this, you know, don't let him make, make sure you neutralize everything they're trying to do and make sure that you always doing what you want to do and adjust on the fuck. You know, I've been watching uh, a lot of uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. I always do because I feel like I, I bring my shots from my shoulder a lot. He does too and the way he's able to just snap off a hook, you know, out of nowhere, you know, they come in boom, and he's always checking them with that and you know, most of the time he knocks them out. So it's kind of like, I have a lot of similarities on, you know, the way I throw my shots, but not saying I'm sugar, stop the <laughs> Robinson, don't go in, do all that, you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> see, yeah, cause everybody be looking to just shit on me, I swear. <laughs> but you know, I have that in me, you know, don't get, don't get a mistake. Ryan Garcia says he's Ray Robinson. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, man, it's over. It's already out there. <laughs> Damn it. But you know what? I'm good, I'm great too. Don't see. Ryan, I know you I know you see like Joe Lewis. Um, yeah, I do. Um, what what about Joe Lewis makes you The way that he was able to uh like when he throws a punch, he like stays in there and then watches him while he's throwing a punch and boom and then hits him. You know what I mean? Like like he just crowds you, but he knows where he's at and boom and then he just he just whacks the shit out of you, like. But he's able like just to be comfortable where he's wherever he's at and like he knows how to like lean himself on you and just boom, just fucking crack you. Like it just <laughs> how he was able to like slight things, <laughs> position himself right, and then just explode. like he just yeah explode. Like he he he's like he's not forcing anything. He just boom 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 and then just lays it on you. He had such a bright hand. It was fucking ass. Textbook boxing. Textbook and then obviously Roy Robinson. He kept his hands out, but he's yeah, always bro, moving. He's always moving to the left, moving to the left. Yep. Boom, checking with hook, and then out of nowhere he go, boom, 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 and then you're out. The perfect you know, boxer puncher. Yeah, because he's just feeling your your body, and then once he he just you gotta feel. It. I don't know how to explain. It's like it's like music. You gotta feel. It. You gotta have that touch. If you don't have that touch. You're missing something. Like, you gotta have it.